KBOI 2 News this morning. 613 concern over President Trump's immigration policies have grown in immigrant communities across the country. Kenneth Craig spoke to a Miami woman who's trying to help families fearful that immigration enforcement will break them apart. Teresa Choke is a Mexican immigrant and a mother. She's living here illegally, worried each day may be her last with her children in the U.S. Her husband was detained last October after a traffic stop on his way to work. She says, I am afraid the same thing is going to happen to me that happened to him. And above all, she says, she's afraid her four children born here will be left alone. Nora Sandigo has made it her life's work to help families like Teresa's. We met dozens of young people at her home who are in the same situation, U.S.-born citizens of undocumented immigrants. It's a peaceful place. Sandigo runs a foundation striving to provide them stability and a sanctuary. She says deportations have been splitting up families for decades, but since President Donald Trump took office, she's watched children get more anxious. I try to, my best to, to, to be calm. Sometimes I want to cry with them too. She's also the legal guardian of more than 1,000 U.S.-born children caught up in immigration disputes. She finds food and foster care placement as she works to secure permanent homes. In 2010, Ritiv Kumar's parents were deported to India. He considers Sandigo a mother. What would you say to the president right now if you could say something? Step in my boots. Think about your own family. Like, if you were deported and you had to leave your children behind, how would you feel? How would you feel living without your children? For Teresa and her children, the feeling is constant fear, not knowing what will happen next. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, Miami.